This is a translation from Hindi to English of a, a darshan, room darshan, uh, given on the 19th of December 2022 in Houston by Srila Bhaktivedanta Von Goswami Maharaj. He's talking about the different incarnation, different appearances of J and VJ in different yugas. So, Jain Vijay appeared in Hirnakashipu and Hirnaksha and Ravan and Kumbhakarna, Shishupal and Dantavakra. This is the description of one day's pastime. There are many, many types of Leelas like this. This curse was only for a second, split second. The curse of Jain Vijay. It took a very short time. In this way, there are endless uh, pastimes. We cannot count the Puranas and have, that have been written. Upanishads, Upapuran, there's 11,080 Puranas and the 18 main Puran. These are written. How did Vyasadev write them? He he is seeing with his transcendental vision. They are not imaginary. Here, it has been said in one pastime to increase the taste of people and attract the people. People need to be attracted. Everybody speaks Harikatha. But different people have different styles in speaking Harikatha. Do you understand? There's a style of speaking. And by that, people are attracted. They speak the same Katha. But, but the speaker, in between, they give those such examples. Those who are not interested in listening, even become attracted to sit and listen. In the same way, in the Srimad Bhagavatam, there is one shloka. Shukadeva Goswami Pada said, O Maharaj Parikshit, Iman Ste Rajan, I have spoken of many different pastimes of great kings, charitable king, like Harish Chandra, Sibi Maharaj, and such. Many different types of pastimes. What is your benefit? It's transcendental benefit in this. So Kadev Goswami is saying, one person is very generous. What is our relationship with that person? We are about to die. We have come to hear Krishna Katha, Parikshit Maharaj is saying. So try to understand. He's uh, giving an example uh, and Parikshit Maharaj is asking a question and Sukhita Goswami is, is asking why you are here. You have come here to listen to Krishna Katha. Great kings, great charitable uh, pastimes of great kings. What have they to do with you? Like Sibi Maharaj. He is ready to give his life to the uh, the vulture or and the crow. Jam Maharaj and Indra, they came as a vulture and crow and they came to test Sivi Maharaj. Such persons, you know this pastime, they... What is the transcendental benefit for us in this pastime? 
one person is feeding another person very opulently. What is the, what is the benefit in feeding that person? Is there anything transcendental benefit in that? There are many people who, and particularly Punjabis. You are Punjabi? My parents are Punjabi. What do they do? They take some sugar and, and they give a little bit of sugar to everyone. Or, or they give this sugar to the ants and they think they have, have given so much food to many thousands of living entities in this way. We see in our mud, just opposite, there is a park and we see them with carrying sugar and feeding 100 grams every day. So, they get satisfaction from this that I have fed so many living entities. Every day, 300,000 living entities I am feeding. How many are you feeding? Tell me. You take 100 grams of sugar and in this way sprinkle it on the floor where there are some ants. And you can say that you are feeding so many living entities. They have life also. And this 100 grams of chini, they are able to feel so many hundreds of thousands of ants. And they are thinking this is their charitable activity. This is one type of charitable activity. Yes, this is, we are not criticizing, and we're not glorifying or criticizing. They are doing according to their mood. But in this past time, Shikadev Goswami Prabhupada is telling, asking Parikshit Maharaj, Oh Parikshit Maharaj, you, in your heart there is this uh, desire, that, or there is this question that I have spoken great of great kings like Harish Chandra, most charitable person, Sibi Maharaj, such great kings and many others, many who have fought bravely that which I have told you. And certainly there is a question in your mind. Shukradev Goswami Bhad is telling Parikshit Maharaj, certainly there is a question in your mind. I am about to die. You have called me here to speak Harikatha. I have called you here to speak Harikatha. This is said in the Srimad Bhagavatam. I am not saying this. And in this way, what is your transcendental benefit in this? Is there anything? Tell me. There is no, no connection to transcendental spiritual uh, benefit. Yes, certainly they are performing some charitable activity. In previous lives, they have given so much. And now they are, uh, uh, in this life, they are receiving. Believe it or not, if, if we have taken something in our previous life from somebody, in this life we'll have to give it back to them. Just I'll try and understand this very simply. Just like the waves come and go. This is Tattva Siddhanta. What can we do about it? Parikshit Maharaj is saying this or asking this, what is the transcendental benefit in hearing this Harikatha of great kings? Tell me what spiritual benefit there is in listening to this type of Harikatha. What 
What was the question? One person is about to die. He's asking to be told, Parikshit Maharaj is asking to be told, what is the most beneficial thing for a person to hear at the time of death, at the time of his death or her death? To speak Harikatha. But this Harikatha is not of Sri Hari. It is another. No. But Sukhadev Goswami is saying, no, don't think like this. There is some spiritual benefit in this. By this, one's life can change. Some way or another. But by the association of Sadhu Sang, one person is giving charity. And if you are giving charity to hundreds and thousands of people, but just by chance one sadhu has come in that assembly and you give charity to that person, you're, you have full benefit of that charitable activity. There are thousands of people sitting on a line and in that line there is one Sudha Vaishnava where you are giving charity. But that one uh, person, you offering them charity, you're, you have transcendental benefit. And from that, devotion will start. By doing thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of charitable activities, and knowingly or unknowingly, if you give to one pure devotee, this is what this Katha teaches us. In this way, the pastimes of the Lord the pastimes of the Lord are taking place in innumerable universes. For this reason, in this Brahmanda, for, for the purpose of attracting people, these pastimes are being spoken. Because only speaking Krishna, Katha, people will not come. They will not be interested. Like in between uh, the Srimad Bhagavatam Katha, the speaker may uh, say or speak, a, uh, tell of a joke and attract the audience. If you, if you speak Bhagavad Katha, the people will sit only for 15 minutes and everybody in America, you are looking at your watches, you have called me, seven, five minutes past seven and then they start becoming agitated. I have been coming 25 years, I have been coming since 2001, I know. I'm, I'm speaking from experience. Like a country like America or England. In America, it's more like this. Even five minutes late, they, they will complain, Oh, Maharaj has taken so much of our time. And they do not uh, keep to the time. They will not come back again. They will come for half an hour or the last half an hour. Six, six till seven to speak. Six, uh, thirty-five they will come. And then after seven, if it's five minutes late, then they will get irritated and walk off. And they will complain that not stopping on time. People complain they I don't stop in time. But what what am I to say if they come late? So if my train comes in late, uh, the train will depart late. You'll see, you will hear. Some people Yes, these things happen. So the pastimes of the Lord, Krishna Katha, people will not be attracted so much. 
We don't have so much time. We were listening to that first time the other day to give an example. Murari Bapu, Katha. He says, Moribapu's Katha, he will speak one or two subjects and then stop. He will say, take the rust, Ram rust, keep taking Ram rust. But the, in, the internet providers, the, 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 you know, says, as long as you are living, drink, drink. The, the, uh, the advertisers will take that uh, few words and turn it to their slogan for their advertisement for green, drinking alcohol. As long as you are living, continue to drink. Morai Bapu was referring to Harikatha, yet the commercial advertisers will take it in a way to promote their product. So, so Sukhadeva Goswami is saying to Maharaj Parikshit, that katha that I have spoken of, I have to speak uh, of these se seemingly ordinary pastimes. But this transcendental pastimes of Krishna Katha, Krishna Lila, with Tattva Siddhanta, philosophical conclusions, what uh, good is it for me? I am going to die. One person is about to die. If you uh, speak Tattva Siddhanta, philosophical topics to him, what good is it for him? If you speak Krishna Katha, Krishna Lila Katha, one person is about to take his last breath. If you start to explain the nature of the Jivatma, what is Paramatma, where is the Paramatma stay, what will that person do? They will. Ajamil uh, kept his son's name Narayan. And speaking Narayan, his, the Lord's name, he attained the spiritual abode. And so, O oh dear Father, speak just once the Lord's name. Bolo Narayan. Speak Narayan. Narayan. Says, Father, speak Narayan. Everything is done. If you, if you tell him all about Atma, Paramatma, then what will happen? The audience speaking to Shila Gurudev about their experience of foreign uh, foreigners trying to pronounce the word Naren. They're asking about Sankachur. This Katha. Uh, Vyasa Dev has spoken in many different ways. <coughs> Where the Lord is performing his pastimes, he does not perform pastimes with the ordinary living entities. He is showing who can fight with the Lord. The Jiva is small, minute, Anu. Those who fight with the Lord are eternal associates of the Lord. They are performing pastimes, Leela, just like the pastimes of Sankachur. In Brahma Vivarta Puran, where Srimati Radhika gives curse to Sridham, be a, a demon in the material world, and uh, Sridham cursed Srimati Radhika. And you will 
be separated from Krishna. These pastimes, these other pastimes are to attract the living entities. In for this reason, uh, Sri Ram came as Sankachur. And in one Puran to another Puran, they may vary a little. And the marriage of Vrinda and then the marriage with Shaligram My book, Madhusmita Shirada. I have written a little something in there. There's not much detail given in there. Because if I write so much, people will be confused. In a very simple way. To see the people's reaction. But in Brahma Viveta Puran, Brahmanda Puran, Radharide Puran, and many other Puranas, there are many different uh, pastimes to attract the living entities. Like in Delhi, where we had Bhagavad Sapta, Histu Kailash. That Pandit there, where we did Bhagavad and the house program, one Panditji came, one, he spoke of one pastime. Of the Puranas, there was one thief. He was stealing, but not getting very much. He was being caught whenever he tried to steal anything. And he was beaten. He was in a dilemma as how to maintain his life. Wherever he goes to beg, nobody is giving him anything. Then he thought, one day, there was one sadhu. He, he, he went into the assembly of the sadhus and they, he saw that uh, the sadhus are being given charity and donation. He thought, I will become a sadhu. If some money will come. Just keep one sadhu dress and a mala in one hand. And this seems like a good uh, opportunity to earn a living. Is there another uh, occupation more than a sadhu I will become he becomes a guru from a thief he became a sadhu from sadhu he became guru in this way he thought I will not give initiation to any ordinary persons. I will only give diksha to, to wealthy persons by which I can get so much donation. With what use is uh, initiating uh, or guru, being a guru to a poor person? This is uh, a, a pastime uh, kata in the Puranas. Where to get a disciple? Where can I get a wealthy disciple from? There was one princess. And in the, this uh, princess was looking for a guru. By the will of the Lord, the princess came to this pretentious guru. And the guru asked, do you want to have initiation? And yes, she said yes. But then you have to give a donation. 
come to tomorrow i will give you diction the uh, princess came with so much wealth ready to take diksha and he thought in his mind this is a princess he there is one condition uh, the uh, guru cheated the princess he tied the princess to a tree saying that this is the bond between guru and disciple and took the princess's wealth he knew if i let her go she may uh, discover his pretentiousness this is my guru mantra the guru said this is my bondage to you that i bind you to this tree the all the kings the soldiers where's the princess and she, they found her tied up in the jungle my guru dev said i'm going i will come and release you from this bondage so the princess they don't want to be untied by the king or anyone else in her mind she was determined to believe what her guru had told her that he would come back and untie her only he could do this this is guru bandhan this is a rope of the uh, affection of shri guru this is what the guru told her when he tied her to the tree who will untie this knot narad rishi narad rishi came and then this i have not read but i heard from this uh, pandit i have not read it myself narad ji bhagwan vishnu ki baat hai narad ji he went to vishnu in this circumstance he saw the princess and narad explained to lord vishnu what had happened that this guru had tied this princess and nevertheless the lord said she has faith in the guru's words even i cannot untie the knot and narad um, vishnu told narad go and find this guru narad traveling here and there it become a, a big businessman and and narad rishi took the businessman and brought him to the princess and then untied the knot and then the lord freed the princess in this way if we understand the philosophical conclusion of this uh, of this uh, story it, it does not make sense but this such type of katha is spoken to ordinary people those who have never had uh, taken shelter of any guru this type of katha is spoken to them so that their faith in shri guru can increase if you go to the pandit they will speak such hari katha this katha is in the puran so to increase the faith in such people such hari katha is spoken such interesting attractive hari katha is spoken in this way many different types of hari katha is spoken to spoken to attract different types of people shrimad bhagavatam is is uh, um, minimizing the importance of other puranas 
In this shloka, dharma purjita ketam, this Srimad Bhagavatam is not accepting any kind of cheating, propensity, religious uh, doctrine in the Puranas. Even though such harikatha is spoken to attract the persons. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, apart from the Srimad Bhagavatam, there, there is no other uh, 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 Puran that can match. They are other Puranas that attract the attention of ordinary people to bring them up slowly to appreciate and understand the Srimad Bhagavatam. These may be true stories, but they are there to attract the local people, ordinary people. This, when does Ruchi taste arise? When such Harikatha is spoken, if you speak high level Katha, then their head will spin. If, if, we, if I speak Harikatha of high level, n not everybody will be interested. So that Harikatha is brought down to the level of the person, people, listening. This is true or not? If you, if you speak such Harikatha to such people, then they will be attracted. When we, we speak of uh, in the Mahabharata of Sakoni, there is nobody equivalent in the Pandas to fight with me. I'm only uh, only afraid of Vasudev or Duryodhan, Banja. Do you understand? It is shown in the Mahabharata. I cannot trick Vasudev, Sukuni is saying. In this way, in the Mahabharata, it, it has been shown. Some, some people see Krishna in different lights. He is a politician. Some people glorify Ravan. They say that Ramchandra didn't have anything. And they criticize Ramchandra. And they glorify Ravan's qualities. What can I say? That type of person You have to be according to their nature in society. If you mix in society, they will say that Ravan is the best. They say Lord Ram is nothing. He's wandering the forest. And how Ravan is enjoying himself. Say Ravan's name, not Ram. That what can you do with people such as this? In this way, they give examples also. Look, just see, they say, one scientist was asking a question. In a show where where Sita was staying, Ravan came to Sita. What did Sita Ji do? He took one, she took one blade of grass. And Sita said, If you cross over this blade of grass, you will be burnt to ashes. 
What did Ravan do? He began to laugh. You do not know the glories of Ravan. What is this blade of grass? You're scaring me, Ravan, with a blade of grass? What is this blade of grass? Many people have given many meanings to this blade of grass. One scientist is saying, one Ravan who is able to uh, lift up Kail, the mountain Kailash, what, wh why was he not able to lift this blade of grass? Then, in the transcendental understanding, see who is Sita and what is this blade of grass? Sita Devi is is Prithvija, one who appeared from the earth. Where did Sita Devi appear from? From the earth. You saw in, in who entered into the earth. This trin, this blade of grass. It, it is manifest from the earth. Sita Devi appeared from the earth and also the blade of grass appeared from the uh, grass, uh, from the earth. What is their relationship then? They are brother and sister. So, I try to understand. Sita Dev is saying, Oh, demon Ravan, what will you? What can you do to me? You have to fight with my brother. Then see. Come to me. Go to my brother. Meaning, go to uh, uh, Lord Ram. This is to say, Sita Devi is challenging Ravan. Oh, foolish demon, who, who, who are you to f uh, uh, abduct me? Who, who are you to fight with my husband? Fight with my brother? This trin, this grass, fight with my Fight with this blade of grass, she is saying. And another explanation is given. One married lady, even more than the husband, they consider their brother to be their protector. They have this faith in their brother. I, I, am, I am not making any other interpretation apart from that of the pundits. It is sometimes such that the, the husband will cheat you, but the brother will never cheat you. I am not giving the example for everyone. In every case, I am speaking of the language of the pundits. Don't misunderstand me. Do you understand? Sometimes, sometimes the husband may cheat you, but the brother will never cheat you. This, she, he will think, this is my sister. And thinking like this, Sita Ji is saying, you fight with my brother. And another pundit is uh, explaining. So in this way the pundits have different uh, philosophical conclusions of this pastime. What is this blade of grass? This is the uh, chastity of Sita Devi. That which Ravan is trying to uh, um, subdue. It says you will, you will, if you try to abduct me you will uh, perish like this blade of grass. 
burns in ashes into ashes. See that they be saying, "Oh foolish raven, you took me, abducted me." That was my fault. Sita is saying, oh, she crossed Lakshman Rekha. She is admitting that was her fault. And yet another Pandit is saying, like this very wonderfully, explaining, at that time, it was my fault, and for that reason you abducted me, you were able to abduct me. But now I am in this position of being a chaste lady. If this, if you cross over this blade of grass, you will, like the, the blade of grass is, is easily blown in the wind, you will also be blown away in the wind. Both explanations are wonderful and beautiful. Do you understand? This is not written in the Ramayana and many commentators have explained those who have taste for this Katha. If you speak one Katha uh, again and again people will not be interested. Once somebody said to me, you are speaking the same Katha again and again, so please speak some new Harikatha. What is in the Bhagavad? What is in Ramayana? I will speak. No, but this person wanted to hear some new Harikatha. What is in the Ramayana? Ravan kidnapped Sita. What else can you say? You cannot say, you can, if I speak, in a, Ra, Ram kidnapped Sita. You cannot say this. Ram kidnapped Sita. Where is this written? This is not, this is not written, he's saying, where is this written? This is not written anywhere. You asked me to speak some new Harikatha. This new Harikatha. Yeah, what is written I am speaking and you are not interested but this new Arikatha you want to hear that Ram kidnapped Sita is not written so this for this reason it is it is new Katha you cannot it's only written once you cannot rewrite again and again the people's This uh, audience is saying there's some differences in pastimes in between different kalpas. Yeah, that's why in Ramcharit Mandas it said Hari Anant Katha. Hari Katha Anant. This Hari Katha is eternal, transcendental. One other question. Finish the Harikatha here. Go Pramanandi Hari Hari Bol. Hare Krishna.